Hi, everyone. My name is Dan Girth, and I am one of the teachers here at the Bureau of Queen Honors College at the University of Missouri St. Louis. Uh, I am here so I can tell you about one of my favorite classes that I teach. It's called uh, Monsters and Metaphors of Horror. And basically, it's my horror movie class. Uh, I also have a couple special guests here as well. We have joining me uh, Jason Voorhees, Kate, and we also have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Kitty. All right, well, let's get started. What is this class all about? Well, basically, um, as you might be able to tell from the title, Monsters and Metaphors, uh, the course isn't just watching horror movies and talking about, you know, the monsters, the gore, what kind of scares you on the surface, but it's about reading films uh, for what they're saying about culture and society. It's looking at what's kind of going on beneath the level of the monsters and the gore and things like that. So, for example, um, you know, one of the units that we have will watch Night of the Living Dead and uh, Jordan Peele's Get Out. Uh, and that's the unit where we'll devote a lot of time talking about race and racism, for example. Um, but, I mean, maybe to give you a, a somewhat more concrete example, I don't know if you've seen the film The Exorcist or you're familiar with it. Uh, many people regard it as the scariest film they have ever seen. We will definitely watch it and talk about all sorts of things that make the film scary. Uh, but, you know, one thing that I think makes the film scary um, in a certain way is that it's really just about, like, parents and kids and adolescents, you know. Um, if you really stop and think about it, Reagan, you know, our um, uh, possessed 12-year-old, 13-year-old, it's a little unclear um, in the film. She's really not really all that different from anybody else starting adolescence. Uh, the film actually starts with a birthday of hers, for example. And, uh, you know, she does things like radically changes her appearance, right? Um, she starts, you know, swearing, using profanity. Uh, she starts being disrespectful to authority figures. She talks back to her mom. Uh, she's not real wild about religion anymore all of a sudden, too. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, she starts masturbating, right? Um, really, she's doing things that, like, kind of happen to all sorts of uh, folks when they, when they enter adolescence. It's just in the film, uh, those things are all part of her possession, and they all get, you know, exaggerated to, uh, to a very great degree. So that's kind of the idea, right? Monsters and metaphors, like what's going on beneath the surface. Um, some of the other units that we will have in the class, we watch uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Um, also, we read uh, Brett Easton Ellis' American Psycho, and there's a lot of stuff we talk about with that, but toxic masculinity would be, uh, you know, one of the key ones. Uh, let's see. We also watch uh, James Whale's Bride of Frankenstein uh, to talk about a Quite a few different things, but certainly conflicts between science and religion. Uh, but also, we talk about it as far as uh, sexuality goes as well. And let's see, what are some of the other things? Um, well, one thing, oh, uh, we watch both Brian De Palma's Carry, but also uh, a newer film called Teeth. Uh, we talk about uh, fear of female body, fear of female sexuality with films like that. And we will definitely watch uh, John Carpenter's Amazing Halloween. Uh, but we also follow that up with what I would think is equally amazing, um, the Slumber Party Massacre series, uh, the only slasher film series from the 1980s that was entirely written and directed by women. Um, interesting in all sorts of different ways. Uh, it's a really fun class. It is probably my favorite or in my top two of all the classes that I teach in the Honors College. Um, Students like it a lot too. I've taught it numerous times before. I've got it coming up pretty soon also. So if you're in the Honors College, make sure you, you know, watch out for it. And if you're not in the Honors College, why not yet? Uh, there's never a bad time to apply to UMSL in the Honors College. Uh, this is just one of the neat classes that you can take uh, if you join us. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me, Jason Voorhees Kitty and Texas Chainsaw Massacre Kitty uh, to learn a little bit more about one of my all-time favorite classes. Bye, everybody.